So in this video we're looking at quantifying changes made following a training intervention and in this example we're looking at the uh, pre and post scores for the counter movement jump. So subjectively we could note the difference in means and here we can see that improvements have been made which is great but this is about being objective with the data analysis and applying some statistical rigour to our findings. So for that we're going to use the effect size which is discussed by Hopkins in this paper here and the effect size looks to um, classify the magnitude with which the means have changed. So the effect size is calculated as the change in group means divided by the pooled standard deviation and the pooled standard deviation calculated as follows. So let's compute the effect size for this uh, data set. So firstly the change in means and we're just going to use the post testing data as group 1 purely because it's uh, largest. Then we are going to square the standard deviations for these respective groups and to square them we can use the up arrow and the 2. We divide these brackets by 2 and then we have to square root the whole lot. So SQRT and then stick the whole lot in brackets again. And here we have our effect size value which is 0.53 and using uh, the table which is based on the work of Cohen and adapted by Hopkins we can see that 0.53 relates to a uh, small change in means. More recently however and uh, following an, a meta-analysis by RIA the uh, classification for uh, the effect sizes might be uh, uh, best adapted based on the training age of the, of the tested athletes because in untrained athletes you'd expect changes to be far easier to make whereas in highly trained athletes where the window of uh, adaptation is that much smaller and changes are that much harder to make uh, then any, any um, improvement in test scores represents some real significant improvement and so uh, the effect size score should represent that. So assuming that our athletes were highly trained, then using RIA's data we can see that 0.53 actually relates to a moderate change uh, in means. Whereas if these guys were in fact recreationally trained or untrained, then it just re represents a, a small change, but of course still a good change. We just want to avoid any changes being classed as trivial because uh, the chances are they're not really uh, real or, or, or anything worth uh, discussing further.